the best way to get success. Best way to get success. All right, this is when we start seriously now. Okay, gold, a hundred gold, gold, a pre card, a rare relic. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go. Not a good strike for the best Ironclad East Coast. I mean, never in my life have I would have two bash of perfected strike corruption demon forms. Like, to me, that wasn't even me playing. Early well laid? Okay. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for early, though. I'm looking for that early. I'm looking for that. Here you go, baby. I'm rich. This fight's nuts. This fight's nuts. This fight's nuts. So I found this second buddy. Thank you, Battle Lord. Five zero is still good. Uh, I'm aiming for higher. These are not the cards you're looking for. Personal best is my personal best. That defect one was really unfortunate. To die in Act 1, that's really unfortunate. And I'm really the cards I'm looking for. Um, um, I think we have to go for another fight here. Yeah, it's a really unfortunate way to lose. Negative numbers too. Okay. I wonder if we have to skip the sparkle here. Go for two elites and avoid the shop. I would like to do sparkle into shop. I feel like that feels really strong. Now, triple centuries destroys me right now. Grab the knob kind of destroys me as well. Like a bull then destroys me. Fuck. If this was a shop as well, that'd be fantastic. Uh I think we have to hmm. here's what here's what, here's my philosophy. I think the shop's worth an elite here. Reason being I already got a lot of value out of my start with these two. So normally doing two, one elite and act one feels really bad. But in this situation, given my current state of cards, my lack of damage, I think this is actually fine. So Lexi footwork is great. I would like medkit, but I think I don't know how aggressively I want to go for poison here. So I could theoretically do bouncing flask, which is kind of cursy and early on. I think medkit is quite nice, especially if it gives me time for the, the hexaghost here. Again, we're still missing damage. We're still missing damage here, big time. But with the poison, we still be, should be able to. With this poison and this life, we should be fine. I think medkit is probably just generally a good relic here. I don't value that highly on the silent, but the deck is lean in lean cuisine. Maybe it's not bad. It's relevant against Hex Ghost here. If 
I remove one more strike, then our damage is significantly down. I might remove a defend here. Removing a strike is better. I just need to definitely get some attacks or something that is not defensive. Alright. Uh, that helps me. I, I don't really have attacks for it, but it helps. Okay. I want to do one more fight here just so I can get something else. A better potion, maybe? Something. The deck feels good defensively. I just need to get the offense and then we're good. Feels good defensively right now. Should probably hold to my strikes, huh? Because I, I only draw into offense, uh, defense, so I should hold to strikes because I only draw into defense here. Seems to be smart. Sip deck. <laughs> I wish that were true, huh? Okay, we got more defense. Uh, okay, so at this point, the best thing I would like to find would be Lagavulin. Even Lagav... Super Sentries I can manage. Super Sentry... I think Super Sentry is Lagavulin. Eh, Gremlin is okay if I get Crippling Cloud early. With Fear Pot and Strikes, I can still do work against Gremlin. Dodger was a great block, but I think we definitely skip on block here. Speed Pot versus, speed, uh, versus Essence of Steel. Alright, we got Gremlin. Got this early, not bad. Alright, see how this goes. Crippling early is quite nice. Yikes. Free pot's gone now. Now I'm big scared. I take damage for Hexagos, this is fine. This is fine. Ideal, honestly. I didn't just, ooh, Pachette's perfect. Alright, for, for Sledge Vajra, we found our offense, GG. GG. We found the offense. Not bad. Took a common attack in, in the dagger throw because I, I just wanted offense. Alright, so for Stetcher being a little bit not nice. I don't want to have to shrink back here to save life. Only 5 damage. Got a catalyst. Not bad. I'm not playing Shrink Power for this fight, but I think with Callus we have enough damage now. So I think I can save, save a Shrink Power here. Or we could just play... do this. No, 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 it's rotating, rotating. Who needs potions anyways? Who needs potions? Not me. I don't need potions. I 
Probably plans needs to be upgraded. Who needs potions? Who needs potions? Alchemized white beast, the potion man. Bullet time with Wally plants could be insurance for no energy relic. It's not the worst. Bullet time snuck away would be interesting as well. So bullet time is insurance for no energy relic and for snuck away. So it has two two cases, two edge cases where it's fine here. And we have Wally we have Wally plants to make bullet time a little bit better. So I think bullet time might be the play. But on every other turn where I, I have an energy relic or anything else, it, it feels bad. Mm, can't take Sozu here. Uh, interesting. I knew this was going to be a thing because when you get offered alchemized and you have white beast statue, that means one thing and one thing only. Sozu is the boss relic. You guys can learn that from me. So if you see alchemized and you see white beast, you should probably abandon the run before it gets too bad. Uh, it might be dome run. Have fun. Alright, there's two leads. I'm gonna do two leads, sparkle. Probably gonna do three leads. I wanna maximize because I only got one lead in Act 1. That feels really bad. Let's do this. Nah, it won't be for a long time. Fast and loose. Probably a good thorn pot, huh? I can save it for like book of stabbing, but I'm gonna use my potions. I didn't take social, so we're using these potions. That's the secret. You, you, it's a fast run and with free dome. That's the beauty. See? It's fast. Time feels awkward here, but but it has a big hit potentially coming up with this. I mean, you don't need to see what they're doing. Spire's easy. Hmm. Okay. Bad choices. Bad choices. I'm not liking these card choices. Um, I don't really think so. I want to think. By the path one more time here. Fine. Oh, I can't see what they're doing, but I can see my cards. Maybe that's my compromise? Who needs intentions? Just let me see cards. Frozen Eye is good. But imagine a, a run where it's Dome and Frozen Eye. That's like guaranteed for six hours, right? You take the two most prolonging relics and then try to speed run. This is definitely gonna make my run at least six hours. Nah, I'm kidding, but... Uh, I mean, yeah, first one is not bad, but I like Blur Remove better. And now we're really cooking with no gas. We're cooking with no gas right now. I could just leave here, but I might just compromise and take a big rest. Before we do that, though... It's not bad. No rise is a win condition. Mm, I'm actually curious to do this. Let's 
What's up, Sugar? to my new buddy? So one big problem. Catalyst is gone. Yeah, I stepped a lot, man. Alright, another big problem. I'm about to get booty clapped. We're about to get really slapped right here. Really, really slapped. Yikes, okay. I'm a little scared now. Be kind, be kind, be kind, please. Be kind, please. Uh, I just need to draw into Bane and we win, but I need a block here. Looks scary, but it's fine. Remember what I, what I said? The, the crossroads. Have you seen the crossroads I said between like having Vajra with Skewer and having poison? I, I think you have to avoid those crossroads. This is fine. That's huge. It's absolutely massive. Okay. The party wants to do so chaos right now. I like Alexi, but I also like Blur. It's also good Blur. Next turn, we're probably doing Crippling Cloud. So this guy's doing like 13, but so now it's probably down to like, what, nine? And this guy's doing like seven or eight. Or nine himself. So if I do blur, I do save some block for next turn. I can play Crippling Cloud in my powers. So Lexi weaken is not as important because I have. Huh. Now if he attacks, if he does like. Some bad things he could do. He could do the um, vulnerable. There it is. Oh, that's a little scary. Okay, now I can only block, which is fine. Seemed fine. I think maybe it's not fine now. It's definitely not fine now. I could die right here. I could be dead right here. Not bad. is huge. Double crippling with bullet time? Sure. I right, we gotta survive two hallway fights, which is harder than it seems. It's much harder than it seems. A very good start though. You just lost in the daily? Some dailies are actually kinda hard, man. I feel bad about that. Some days are pretty hard. First Callus was a play. Oh shit. See Fowers, thanks for the Twitch Prime, buddy. Nice. 
I'm gonna survive one more. One more hallway fight, guys. One more. This is the hardest one of them all. Alright, so there's a world. Alright? I don't know how confident you guys are. There's a world, he's not attacking, he's debuffing. In which case, I want a catalyst now. In the world where he's attacking, the weaken makes him do 18. And then I can't catalyst. He does 8 times 3. Weaken makes him do 6 times 3. 18. So I then I do double dexterity pot blur with the weaken. So problem is Kalis is really important in, in this fight to save a lot of life. To maybe even win. So there's a world wide double dexterity, blur, crippling catalyst. <laughs> it sounds crazy as hell. But I feel like that saves so much life in the long run to getting Kalis out early. Maybe I'm being silly. Maybe I can go long. Maybe I can go long here. Maybe I could just do a crippling dexterity pot blur defense. And I'll draw back into catalyst. Maybe I could go long. We do have good block, right? Because if I do double dexterity, this feels like. Not only am I potentially taking 9 damage, <laughs> I always do potions. Yeah, we already, we're already playing fast and loose, but I think I can go long. I think it's still optimal to go long here. Ah, oh, I should have taken the gamble, huh? Got a survivor. Why did I do that? I had full block. I, I, thought, I, I thought about that wrong. Wait, do I have card draw next turn for grand finale? I have heal hook though. Uh, nah, skip. Yeah, I should have actually. That was my bad. If I lose because of center's bane, that's gonna be really problematic. It'd be really problematic here. All right, I really want to play well laid, but I also want to do leg sweep bash. I think well laid plays is so important. No, this is unfortunate. That well is so important here for Crippling Cloud. But I want to present, pre preserve my life. Hmm. So now I gotta go into Sparkle. Double footwork. Interesting. Alright. Wish me luck. Let me use the bathroom. Let me use the bathroom. Oh, strength. You have. Oh, you have strength? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I like that. Oh, fuck me. Okay, so the big the big question is, do we discard a strike or is that damage relevant? Do we discard do we discard a defense? Let's see. We discard discard blur here, or do we think that damage of strike is not as relevant here than block? Ten damage. This fight's harder than anything you've ever seen. You use all your potions here. This fight's hard. 
And this guy has three strength. I'm out of blur. But it's weakened. I'm doing this. Security cat, that's fine. Corporate explosion. Uh, okay. Use your potions, boys. Honestly, you can't see what they're doing. You know he has three strength. Use your potions. It's okay. Not, not that hard to cry about when you have white beast. So corporate explosion is really good. Piercing is so good as well. Uh, do we rest against this guy? No rest gives us in win conditions. And we have good block. And what's the good upgrade? I think... We most certainly want to upgrade footwork here. I think our whole win condition here is to stack poison catalyst. We only have one catalyst, but um, we have really good block. Pseudo Sozu ring zone because you can't see what they're doing. You're using your potions more willy nilly. Um, you know, there is some conversation for that. Like, by taking Rudy Dome, your potions have less value in terms of the appropriate time. So you're using them sometimes maybe inappropriately. I wouldn't... Cl you're still using potions like crazy, so it's hard to think of it as a Sozu, but if you're talking about in terms of how you're using potions, maybe it undervalues them. Sure. What's up, Lunic? How you doing, buddy? Uh, let me think here. Wow, Chinese viewer, Chinese viewers, yay! Chinese, this has a good, a big Chinese player base, right? Ni hao. All right, twenty-eight life. We have really good block, double footwork, and blur. I think we can, we can get weakened on him. Um, in perfect world, corporate solution kills the minions. Do we have 20 life? A lot of block. Bullet time to get set up big blur turns. No rise to give us more weak conditions. Poison, I think I think we can not rest here. Mm. This is perfect. This is perfect. It's absolutely perfect. He already got. I already got weakened applied. I think dash. I think total trade is actually perfectly fine here to help me cycle my deck. And also, total trade means they can they, they take that. So if they're taking something right now, they're probably taking towards the trade. They're probably taking towards the trade and like a footwork or something like that. So that's actually pretty good. I, dagger throw first is interesting because you, you can get another selection of cards. But what if it draws into what what would I, what would I not want it to draw into? I'm happy with just bullet timing this. So, if he takes my towards the trade, I'm happy about that because I don't necessarily need that at the moment. If I do this, I can potentially draw out my towards the trade so he doesn't take something else, or I can draw out the footwork, play that, but. Dagger Throw is just awkward here. I don't like Dagger Throw in this deck in particular. I took it out of panic, Act 1. Mm, I like this. That's all the damage I take. I'm happy. Escape has a lot of good hits in this deck. In terms of skills. I took 13 damage. I hopefully that's... I say hopefully. I think that's most damage I'm going to take in this run. I want to get my footworks out. The fact that they didn't attack basically means now they're going to steal this stuff. They're probably not attacking again. I think holding that trip in the cloud is bad here. I think double defend is better. The Kyok is fine in this deck because there's so much weakened. 
Took my escape plan, he took my flesh sets. Honestly, you helped me a lot. Thank you for your service. I never played acrobatics here because I have so much uh, block as is right here. So we want to stack blur big time here. Catch ups is fine. And we're now we're looking to stack poison. So we gotta kill the minions and start stacking poison like crazy. And we're about to win the fight. This is a good way to get poison going. So when that guy's dead, both dead. I just wait. We have Catalyst coming. Static second poison now would have been nice for Catalyst. I, I think we have to wait in Catalyst to get again. I want to hold on to Lexi in this because I'm about to draw into bullet time. I want to get a big turn. I'm gonna do that because I want that guy to die next turn, potentially. So I can save life. Dash is interesting because we do have bullet time coming up. But right, I'll do this. So that guy's dead. And now I don't have to worry about minions, and now I just play all my cards and we win. I guess the question is, do we want to dagger throw first? So if I dagger throw on this guy, I get escape plan, get more block potentially. What would I discard here? I, we're probably not doing catalyst now. I'm not playing catalyst now. Got the sheds. That's not bad. Let's do this first. Full block. Fight's over. Now it's gonna stack poison. I stand over it entirely. This certainly helps. Not playing throw that could be could be bad. This is a good time to do Catalyst. Not bad. I have to find blur here. Flechettes? Nope. Flechettes. That's game over. Easy fight. Burst. Burst. Let, sorry, let me let me do that again. Burst. That nah, was enough emphasis. Burst. Yeah, it was burst. That's really good. Wow. That's huge. Wow. Wow. Okay, yes. Okay, so we can go for whenever you discard. Oh my god, birds. <laughs> whenever you discard, you gain energy. So I have dagger throw, I have survivor, and sometimes those are the trade if we're no rise of kind. And acrobatics. So we do get energy with acrobatics, dagger throw, and survivor. Eh, it's not bad. There is, you gain energy whenever you're elite in boss fights. Probably like that better. And you get choker. So if I were to choose, it's definitely slaver's caller. If I'm worried about hallway fights, hovering kite sometimes gives us value with survivor, dagger throw, and acrobatics in hallway fights. But if we want just general value for elites and bosses, you take this bad boy. So Kite's basically saying, I'm a little worried about hallway fights. I want some extra value sometimes in terms of energy. That's what it's saying. But what I'm saying is I see three elites. I've got Preserve Insect and I've got Slaver's Caller. What's to say I don't do three elites right now? So I got a recall. That's one recall. And then I got a I only got two campfires. That's the that's the downside. So we go here, we get two elites, but we get a lot more campfires. Seems a lot more doable. We also get a shop. So we get one less elite, but we get a shop and more campfires. Primarily the biggest reason is the campfires. 
So we got Burst Crippling Cloud on the fight that really wants it. Now, the only thing I'm worried about, guys, is... I don't know how much damage we're doing. But I know I want to slam this, right? I know I want to slam that, but I don't know how much damage we're doing. So, a part of me is like, I could do Liquid Memories, Burst, and Defend. That's for 5 block. You're using Liquid Memories for 5 block, that's really bad. I think we just hope they're not attacking. That's a really bad strategy to have. But what can I? What else can I do? Like I don't have options here. I could save five life, or I could play this. I don't got a lot of options. Just don't attack me, please. Okay, one. Ow. Okay, eighteen damage. Quite a bit. It's quite a bit of damage there. Why oh, know this guy's attacking? They, and they could be attacking again. You never know. Corpus explosion is huge. Perfect block and corpus explosion to seal it out. Please draw corpus explosion. Okay, we didn't draw it. We're drawing it next turn. I oh, should be like 18 damage in this fight. Oh my god, we took. Wait, did I block there? Did I just take 8 damage again? Wait, wait, wait. Wow. Wow. That drum don't have nothing to do with that, though, unfortunately. I got all my, my cards super late. Don't have nothing to do with that. I need anchor, but I guess I could have liquid now. Tropic Brew is huge. Piercing Wall is huge. Piercing Wall is a little bit. Whoa, 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 wait, one second. Before I say anything, I can remove one normality now. And then. I don't have a guaranteed shop. Which, you know, we've been in the situation before. That's usually scary. Um, it's fast for dumb. Yeah, we're, we're playing fast and loose. Okay. Remove one normality now. It's a lot of gold. A second normality is not guaranteed to be, to be removed here. Unless I buy wing boots at this shop. The thing is... I might necessitate that I go to this path to get rid of the second normality, but... Um, yes. Okay. Clockwork Souvenir is insane with potions. Mango is quite nice. Golden Horn is quite nice. First and foremost, we're always removing normality. Okay, now we have 1,161 gold. Fruit juice is probably worth it. Mango is honestly probably worth it. So we take mango. It's a lot of gold we're wasting here, but these are all great things. These are all great things. I also have discard for the other normality. It's not the end of the world. This is actually a really good card draw as well. I'm taking these. I'm taking these. Now, I can take a second Lexi. Lexi was very powerful. I think it has sometimes deals with normality, absolutely. It's a good card draw, it handles normality, purity does a similar thing. Leg sweep is just a very powerful block. Yeah, I have to save some money for the next shop. I think we have enough discard to maybe handle this normality for now. I wonder if I take Tina ahead to have another tool to handle normality. It's something I'm thinking about. Or do I just want the second leg sweep here? I like keeping the deck lean as well though. Because I want to draw into burst plus, I want to upgrade burst and have... So by taking this max HP, my rest are a lot better now. And I think really confident. I feel really confident going. Yeah, I think I'm going to skip. Leg sweep number two is not as necessary. I think we're good here. We want another piercing wheel, and we're good. I'm going to go to the event, maybe get removal. This is not a bad burst at all. Wow, 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 wow. Now that was scary because... The problem is this guy is doing like 11 damage I could take a hit here just to get burst poison it's probably worth it or I could save life how much damage is that if you do it again 
7 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 28. I could just save life here and do burst blur. We, we, should, we should prioritize life. Oh, I forgot that I have clockwork so that stops and pull the time. I gotta be mindful of that. Big time. Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, so do I just do dagger throw to get rid of normality here? No joke. Alright, what, what's the alternative? So how much damage are you doing? I've got, he's weakened, I've got 7 block plus 2. I've got 9 block, I think some damage. Do I want to preserve all my life? I could just do dagger throw. How much do I value like remembers here? I could do footwork, no. Oh. He's doing like right now, like 11 damage, 11, 12 damage. But I also gotta get, manage to burn. How much do I value the remembers here? I don't think I value it that much. No value that much. Now, 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 dome. Or at least not here. I want. I rally my life here. Like, Parapot's fantastic. Okay, we're getting Lexic offered again. Lexic is a premium block. Let me see the. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Removal. Okay. So, there are quite a bit of good. We're gonna throw more normality and. Don't forget. Oh, there's something else that I thought was going on, but nothing else going on, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so these are some good colors cards. I think. What are we looking for? Dark Shackles, Master of Strategy. Apotheosis is totally fine here. Apotheosis, Master of Strategy, Dark Shackles. Sure, I'll do two. Secret technique is interesting. Dark Shackles is fine. Actually, Dark Shackles, when I don't see their intentions, that was a mistake. Maybe Finesse is better than Secret Technique here. I disagree. Secret Technique is bullet time right there. Can I do this elite with this much life, or do I want to just rest? I kind of want to just get a rest in. But how are we doing against the... Reptomancer. We do have a lot of corp explosions. We have one corp explosion for Reptomancer. We have two crippling clouds. I would like to upgrade burst. And then offers apparitions. Uh, ap no, not apotheosis. Not apparitions. It offers apotheosis. We have Gremlin Horn as well for the, the Reptomancer. Giant Head. We have burst catalyst. We want to hold on to time to set up. Nemesis. We have catalyst as well. I think I can get away with not resting. Normality is sometimes problematic. Those are burst catalysts. So we could do secret technique for blur here. Uh, we also do it for card draw. So if we do it for card draw, we can look for bullet time or play something better. So Finally card draw. Catching a stream. I've been pretty late for me lately. Hey, no worry. Yo, thank you, Diego. Diego. Yo, walk around and thanks for the follow and dig it. welcome back for four months, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um If I do secret technique on Crippling Cloud, Burst Callus is quite strong. So how much is Burst Callus with double crippling cloud? That's 14, 14 plus um 42, 42 times 3 is not enough. Just 
just not enough. But how much damage is he usually doing here? Like he's usually, he's he's either doing seven times three or he's doing like. debuff Sup. now I could take severe damage Maybe Acrobatics is better to have more charge for this turn. Uh, if he's doing 45... Does he only do 45 when I'm vulnerable? 45 only applies when I'm vulnerable, right? So, does he ever just do 45 now? Or is he 45 only when I'm vulnerable? But he's never doing 45 because he's weakened. So, I'm never dying here. Never dying here. Um, but I have zero block. Well, Max's Fear is nice because I, I plan to rest. And I plan to rest. It gives me a lot more value in my rest. And with normality, I'm probably going to need more life and more resting until I can find a way to get rid of it. I'm, I'm probably keeping normality for the whole fight until Act 4. Power for Wraith Form is potential. What else could Power give us? Um, like After Image. Only for Wraith Form is the only thing we're looking for. And that's wasting a pretty decent resource. But it saves potentially 33 life or potentially 15 life. He's for sure attacking and we have no blocks here, which is quite unfortunate. So we could have got insurance for this by getting Acrobatics last turn. And that to draw into my powers, and maybe, yeah, maybe that's just better because he was gonna die to poison regardless. Hmm. Let's see. Not bad. So unfortunate though. I got a recall. I still need blue key. Perfect blue key. Okay. So he's doing nothing here, but I can stop his thing. I can stop his uh, artifact, so that's fine. So uh, this is actually a really good fight for me. This might be. Should we technique for burst? Then we next turn we do burst. I like to do bullet time and next turn do bullet time. I kind of like that. So, secret technique for bullet time and next turn do bullet time on all these cards. And then he's this, the next the turn after that he's gonna spend doing the debuff again. I, I like that a lot. I can also hold into catalyst and so next turn I could do catalyst ripping cloud. I like this. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. I can only hold on to so much, that's the problem. I think I value likes more than Crippling Cloud here. So I'm gonna do this. I like this a lot. So no debuff. He only does like, like, like doesn't do that much damage. And then we do this now. He's gonna reapply for next turn, next turn is free turn. And then we just draw to Catalyst here. I think this is fine as well, because we have Catalyst coming up. And then GG. We just gotta make sure we block for 12 and then kill him. Concentrate can manage normality sometimes, not that great. I mean, okay, this is a world where I do concentrate because I have normality, but also acrobatics. Probably not. 
the Zero World where I do Quick Slash here for an extra little bit of damage. Because Quick Slash with Gum and Horn, it's actually quite decent. That's 13 damage. So if it kills Reptomancer, I think we just, we're just full poison here. Give me removal. Give me removal, he says. Here you go, sir. You've asked nicely. Now, do I want to? Do I want to go for the uh, removal here? Or are we okay with normality? I mean, I'm not that okay with it. I kind of like backflip as well. Pellets isn't fantastic for the heart. Pellets is absolutely fantastic for the heart and the potions that I have. Do we have enough powers to get uh, pellets to pop off? Man, pellets is amazing. So is bronze goes for damage, but I think our, our game plan for the heart is just callus, poison, and block. And pellets helps us stay alive on turn 2, turn 3. For the heart. And it gets more value out of potions sometimes. So like, since I have potion bow and entropic brew, I'm thinking speed pots and all that stuff. So uh, I think pellets is just really good here. I do want to remove normality here. This was an optimal path. I do like backflip as well, because it gives me bigger bullet times on average and is has block on it with footwork and gives me more options. Card draw, I like it. I think I like pellets here. And I think it's GG. I want to recall now. No reforms, yeah. That's fine. Because we got Corpus Explosion. Okay, let's talk about this turn. This turn is bonkers. We have Letter Opener. So if we do Burst, Corp Explosion, into Burst Blur, that guy's dead, and then I hold on to Catalyst, but then I don't have Burst anymore. And when those guys are dead, next turn I draw. Secret so think is interesting here. I do Crippling Cloud. So Tiger Technique, Crippling Cloud, Corpse Explosion, that guy's dead. I don't think the Reprimand is attacking turn 1, right? Because usually always summoning. So then I have to leave those guys alive just by a little bit. Next turn when she summons, I kill everything. So maybe I want to leave them alive. So look at it this way. Maybe I don't want to kill them now. So they're doing 18 damage. So if I just do Burst... I don't even do Burst. I do Crippling Cloud, weaken them. They do 12 damage. Then I do... Well Laid. Take two damage. Wait. Let me see. There's, there's a way to do this. There's a way to do this here. Because then, by holding the Corpse Explosion, then next turn, all the minions die. If I do Letter Opener as well. That means I'm taking two damage here. How do I take no damage? Crippling Cloud makes him do 12. bullet time I get a bigger blur and then corpus explosion is applied that means the next turn I have to do I have to do five damage to that with that opener all right I already have that opener I was guaranteed that next turn but I don't want to do that opener again though that's the problem I still little bit still fine because he doesn't die Right away. That's fine. And then next turn we have... Dash is good because of uh, Gremlin Horn, but next turn we have... The letter opener to kill all of them. I could just kill this guy for the sake... I could just get like... This is just a free energy, basically. I would like to find my blocks, but I think we're end up gonna do defend, defend, dash here. We're gonna probably take some damage because she's weakened though. And I'll hold on to. Nice. I forgot that I get all that draw now, so we're actually fine. I want to see if I can find my footworks. I'm okay with doing this now. That's not something I want to hold on to. I think I want to hold on to Crippling Cloud Callus here because I'm, I'm about to draw into bursts. 
by the next turn. If she attacks, I don't know if she's gonna attack next turn. I'm hoping she doesn't. She resummons next turn. Then I just do Crippling Cloud. So I can do Burst, Crippling Catalyst, which actually is just lethal next turn. So we actually just win if if I draw into those cards. We actually just win. Freest fight of my life. Wraith form. I think we just won. I think we just won. Yeah, I lost a stream like a bonobo, man. I lost a stream like a bonobo. Feels bad. attacking or not I don't want to take damage here so I'm gonna do yeah I got rid from Pelotino uh, I don't care about firepot here I don't want to take damage you know and there's a world where this is probably doing damage to me Imagine this person's attacking right here. Perfect. Cause I actually want to leave myself open to the idea of uh, upgrading raid form. I, I might rest, but I, I want to leave myself open to the idea of upgrading raid form. So that's why I don't want to take damage. Dodger was pretty good block, huh? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? I got two footworks. Is it worth it? I got two blurs, though. I don't know. I'd rather not draw to Dodger Roar. I'd rather draw to everything else. Because it's, it's really important I get Catalyst stacks really quickly against the, the heart, and then we just try to mitigate damage. Because I won't be able to see if he's multi attacking or not. And Dodger was a great block, but probably not necessary. Now, we're going against two uh, fights here, and I think time meter is pretty easy for us. We just gotta survive until we get burst catalyst and burst crippling cloud, and that's a three turn lethal. We have Rayform to back us up if we upgrade it, and as soon as we find burst catalyst crippling cloud, the game over. And then the next elite fight, the next boss could be Awakening One, which I feel okay about Awakening One. I have good ways to manage the minion, the cultists. So we gotta just survive till we get corpse explosion on the cultist. We gotta survive all the damage before then. And then once we kill the cultist, the fight I have more than enough block to manage. It's in, I'm not dependent on Wraith Form, so I don't necessarily need to upgrade it here. I could upgrade it on see if I upgrade Wraith Form now I could upgrade footwork for in Act 4. What if I just value upgrading Crippling Cloud instead? Now, if we go for Dona Deca, Dona Deca, I have to survive a lot of damage, but we have decent block. And for Dona Deca, we have to just prioritize Corpse Explosion and then Catalyst one of them, the fight's over as well. And we have enough life 51 to handle that, plus all these potions. So uh, we have. Dona Deca is winnable, even if we take some damage. Awaken one is probably a little scary, because we may not get Coldest in time, but still winnable with Piercing Will, Dark Shackles. Our ability to block. Time meter. We're gonna take some damage potentially, 
but as soon as we draw into our poison, we also just win that fight. Uh, let me think. I would like to upgrade Raid from because then I can upgrade, uh, like maybe Footwork or even Rest. And I think I'll upgrade from here. Just want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. Because I have Dome, so there's a world where I. Well, no, we have good block. There's a world where I just raid from now, and I survive the first three turns, and I just look for my poison and get three turn lethal. In order for three turn lethal to be a thing, I need to actually get like an extra 60 damage from somewhere else. So he shackles. Is like eight times three. Let me see what we got here. I got burst as well. There's the burst crippling, then I have catalyst as well. I have burst crippling catalyst. So what that means is now it's gonna do like 60 some damage and I, I, I win in three turns. Maybe I wanna do something else, let me see. I could I could wait till I only have one catalyst. Uh, Sixty more damage seems quite difficult, actually. So how would I guarantee three turn lethal? I would need to get even more poison. I would need to do the, this whole burst crippling thing, and then like another poison thing, and then burst catalyst later on. I don't know how to get 60 more damage. I would have to, if I do if I wait then I would have to redraw it to uh burst and catalyst, which makes me stay in the fire for a long time. But we have to do a from to get three turns of cycle. This is 10 damage right here. This is damage. This is actually 27 damage. No, it's more. It's just less. 21, 21, 31 damage right there. Got 31 damage right here. Letter opener does 5 damage. It's 36 damage. 36 damage right there. Uh, then we maybe have to do... Flechettes at some point that could easily be another 20 to 30 damage plus another letter opener or two. I can easily get the damage here actually. Yeah, I can easily get the damage here. Yeah, I don't get negative decks. I can read from now, but this buys time, I suppose. I can easily get the damage though. I just. I need to draw into flechettes, which I should be able to. With backflip. Although, with a lot of powers coming up, means that doesn't hit as hard. But this is also damage. And dagger throws. I mean, with letter opener plus dagger throw is already 36. Flechettes could probably just finish it off. Let me see the exact math. He's already, he's already, did, already did some damage. So he's at 475. And I'm doing. So I need to do, to be exact, 49 damage. And I got 36 right here with, with our opener. 
And that means I need to do three more that are opener procs or one for shets. And then we have perfectly filled. But he gets blocked at some point, right? So if he gets blocked, then the chest is harder to hit. We'll leave us over the position that we only need to do 13 damage. It's not that bad. So I wonder if I just do Ray from now. And then next turn do Crippling Burst Catalyst. Or do I just do that now? And then if I do Crippling Burst Catalyst now. Hold on to Ray form Dagger Throw. Are we taking damage? That's the question. Are we taking damage this turn? So just gotta look at how many cards we have. We can play seven cards. Uh, this, this, if he's doing the headbutt, I'm taking damage, right? If, if he's doing headbutt, I take damage. But I think I want to just do what I said. And fish that's good. Yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm confident with my math. Now, I just gotta be mindful of the fact that they're going damage, is fine. So I gotta find if the shed's here. That's we, we got we got it. Did I do too much damage, actually? Did I do too much damage? Did I fuck that up? I did my math wrong. I actually did my math wrong. Alright, now we're in a dip bit of a dilemma. Because I did my math wrong. I did my math significantly wrong, actually. Yeah, I did my math wrong big time. Whoopsies, I totally miscounted. Alright, so now, yeah, yeah, we're totally in a really bad situation. We're in a really bad situation. Yeah, I, I might have just thrown the run. What saves us here? Here. Yeah, I did my math really wrong. Mm. No rights has to save us. I don't know why I did that math like that, Jesus Christ. Oh, he could be attacking me right now. No, it's probably- it's really doomed, actually. It is really doomed. If I don't get Callus here. It's pretty doomed. How much damage is that skewer? How much damage is that skewer? 8 times 5 is 40. Does that save us? Or is finisher better with cunning pot? Sundial. If he weakens me, then I think I'm about to be, about to be weakened. Eight times five is forty. Forty, sixty-one. I have sixty-one damage. Sixty-one. 
61 damage. It's close enough. I can only play so many cards. I didn't even draw into it. So how do we do this then? So how do I ensure that I draw Skewer here? So I can play 1, 2, 3, and then Skewer is lethal. It's 45, 61, 61 is exact lethal. So how do we draw into it? I have exact lethal with Skewer in that I was hoping to draw into it. The fact that I didn't draw into it means I don't get lethal here. Cause I can do skewer, just honey pot, game over. So then I gotta do entropic to find swift pop, but then it's like a waste of resources. Is it even worth it to do entropic right here? And then I have to look for swift pot. Is it worth it? I think I can see them. Okay, fine. We did it. I just want to double check my math. Forty-five, right? Forty. Okay, forty. Perfect. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. Thank you. I, I put myself in a bad situation. That's okay. Uh, whatever. I didn't care about all those questions that much anyways. I mean, Thorn was a little... Sucks to lose. Okay. We keep getting burst crippling. Okay. That's 28. Hmm. Yeah, well, it is well. Yeah, we made it. We made it look interesting as well. We just got like really lucky with no rise and exactly got the potion we needed. It's all calculated. Uh, yeah, that was pretty bad, but it's okay. I want to do this now because now once I get corpse explosion. I could prevent life here. I could prevent life damage. Maybe I don't care that much to prevent life damage here. For some reason in my mind, the reason why that happened, guys, I, I already had in my mind that burst, crippling, burst, catalyst was 142. Like, I just had that number in my mind for some reason. I don't know why. And I didn't double check it. <laughs> I didn't double check it. So I did all my math around 142 times 3, when I could have double-checked it pretty easily. So never, always double-check your math. Hmm, I can take damage here. Just go! Didn't be watching your stuff on YouTube, but you're... Oh, thank you, man. Thank you for 200 bits. Appreciate it. I guess Scribbling Cloud is technically better than Corp Explosion, right? Technically better? Do I want to waste Burst now? To, to full block? 
I want to wish burst on a full block. Uh, this fight's probably, it's probably this fight's probably going long. This fight's probably going long. So this is where we use multi attack. So I'm gonna just go ahead and say that. Probably do multi attack, right? I guess I could look for bullet time and acrobatics here. I was gonna do corpse explosion, maybe I just do bullet time acrobatics. I did not want to kill the cultist because I wanted to wait for corpse explosion. But maybe this is fine because corpse explosion just kills both of them. But 11 poison kills that guy pretty quickly as well. And if it's multi attack, then I, I don't take damage here. Alright, we just won the fight, GG. But is now over. Corpse was never really necessary. We do Nightmare Catalyst and we just win the fight. If it's multi attack, then uh, this is a scary turn if it's multi attack because I, I gave him a lot of strength. So I think we wait till multi-attack's over before we do Nightmare Catalyst. Uh, that's for sure. I'm pretty sure about that. Until multi-attack is over, I can't do Nightmare Catalyst safely. There's another Catalyst in the deck. Until that's over, multi-attack, I cannot do this safely. Okay, so this is the multi-attack turn. I'm sure of it. So this is a world where I do Nightmare and Blur and win that fight as well. Blur Arcade. And like I said, until the multi over, I can't do Nightmare Catalyst. Okay, so now I can do Nightmare Catalyst. We also got Burst. So Burst Nightmare is insane. <laughs> That's almost overkill. I would like to actually Nightmare the Blur. I could say Burst Nightmare for Blur. Blur just wins the fight. If I do Catalyst, basically, I have Catalyst for the second phase. Uh, you do Burst... <laughs> no. Burst Nightmare is not worth it, but... I could just do number catalyst now and then hold on to burst catalyst next turn. And that fight's over. But then I still have blur that I want to maybe nightmare. Do I want to just nightmare blur instead? We have Raven for second phase, plus a lot of catalysts. I have a lot of dexterity at the moment. I want to end the fight with piercing well or dark shackles. So dark shackles next turn. I can do dark shackles next turn, then the fight's free. Maybe let's do burst. Maybe let's do nightmare now. Full block. Next turn, burst catalyst. To kill this guy. Then we have Callus in our deck with Wraith Form Plus. We also have Blur and we also have Dark Shackles to get rid of the strength. Probably just free. If I'm patient here, then what do I do? Maybe I hold on to Nightmare, do Burst Callus now, be patient, and then Nightmare Blur and win the fight at that. So I can just do Burst Callus now and then Nightmare Blur. That's probably just free as well. Yeah, bullet time coming in for a big blur. First Callus, uh, Nightmare Callus is also very useful, obviously, but Blurricade is probably just as effective. The only problem with Blurricade is that he's at 8 strength, so I'm not going to retain my blur that well because of 8 strength. Whereas if I kill him next turn with Catalyst, then. If I draw Dark Shackles next turn, I could immediately reset the fight. Alright, so if I kill my Shrove Catalyst, plus Dark Shackles comes up, which is pretty likely with Acrobatics, then the fight is also one with that, because then we can get a Blur. Yeah, I feel maybe that's probably better, killing him next to Catalyst, because the multi-attacks are, multi are pretty devastating right now. 
Okay, I know he's weakened and all, but uh, Blurricane's probably not going to sustain it. It's not going to probably withstand the multi attacks, anyways. You can't do burst, so I can't nightmare burst when I'm playing burst to play nightmare. J Dogs. You're saying next turn. You're saying if I do burst next turn, you gotta do one or do the other. So if you do burst, then you can't play nightmare on burst. If you do nightmare burst, then nightmare's gone. Uh, yeah, I think Kalos is probably better just to end the fight, the first phase. Let's do the math this time. I got Jack Shackles as well, so I reset his strength. I can probably just raid for him now. I can just I can double raid for him. I can also just like. Uh, stall as well. I mean, why not do raid form if you have a skill and attack, right? That means they probably should play blur there, though. In that situation, probably play blur in that situation. Probably play blur in that situation. So that, at least the block is relevant. I can blur here, though. This would be fantastic if I actually had poison, which we have a lot of poison coming up. I don't even think this is a good bolt time. Maybe next turn is a good bolt time. Then I can't hold on to both Callus, which is probably fine. Unless I hold on to both Callus next turn, you think we have lethal? I think bolt time is definitely better to hold on here. The chance has a multi hit. I, didn't, I wasn't paying attention. I was not paying attention. It was a multi hit next turn, but I know this is going to be a big bolt time. If I draw adrenaline, then it's game over. Nothing to stack up here. I can stack up Sundial. No, can't even do anything about that either. Unless I can draw, I can actually draw and make Sundial better. Can I actually draw and make Sundial better here? That's better. I wish they would give me potions for bosses. Do I want to rest for 8 life? Or do I want to upgrade? Crippling Cloud. Probably upgrade Crippling Cloud here. Secret Tank is pretty powerful. I wonder... Yeah, I want to upgrade Fortbreaker as well, but Crippling Cloud is also... So my win condition is making sure I get poison on him really quickly. 
So Crippling Cloud like, really goes well with my win condition of getting poison stacked up really fast, but Footwork has more longevity in the hard fight. Might be worth it. I'm gonna turn the air down now that some, somebody... There's somebody in the house that has to have the air up, but I'm putting the air down because she's currently out. Yeah, whatever nobody goes those. Um, the problem is, yeah, my poison stacking is not as powerful. And Crippling Cloud is pretty relevant for... The actual elite as well, but I wonder if Sutink is better. The constant ability to bring bullet time whenever I want, or to bring burst, or to bring blur. Like I feel like Sutink might be a sleeper here. I think Sutink might be a sleeper here. So there's uh, for sure with a deck being the size, we're probably gonna see it more than once, yeah. But there's also the world where you don't mind exhausting this because you have no rise, so you want to just let no rise fill up your deck with new stuff. Okay, Snaven, I got you. Uh, do I think I'm gonna get some more than once in the Act Four Elite fight? Probably not. So for the Act Four Elite from that fight, you just want to get like good value, so you get more value out of Crippling Cloud. In the hard fight, Secret Technique, you may see it more than once. I, I wonder if that saves the run. Probably not. Mm, but it does help me enable my burst. Burst Callus, because Burst Callus is my win condition here. And then I just got a block. I think we're going for Poison here. Uh, the Poison, it seems small, but... It, since my win condition is stacking poison and blocking. It was nice. We have, we have some gold here. We have some gold. Blessing of the Forge. Interesting. Is it Blessing of the Forge or Block Pot? I would like better potions here. It's not just is another power, it means I can get pellets more easily. I think pellets are gonna be we can manage that no problem. We have one, two. Three, four powers, but we don't want to play reform, so we only have three powers, technically three powers, to manage the pellets. Reform not early, so that's interesting for pellets consideration. What's up, Orson Welsh? Yeah, it's a streak start. Yeah, I, me I messed up my streak. So we we lost our streak, and then we went on like a little downward trend post streak, and now we're trying to get back on the streak. I'm not worried about clearing artifacts. But it does clear artifacts, yeah. Huh. What is Blessing Upgrade? Potentially a lot of crap. Like... Blessing could upgrade... My footwork. My blur, my leg sweep. My blur. Could upgrade my defense. Could upgrade... Secret Technique. I wonder if Blessing is the play here. Hmm. How good are those upgrades? If I upgrade the defense, that does add a lot of value. On like a big bullet time turn, if we upgrade everything. Most of my good cards are already upgraded. Blessing Codex seems too far stretch of a, of a combo, but I'm just looking at what Blessing could currently upgrade. Fumes is another power to manage artifacts. Not artifacts, but manage pellets. Which, I want to make sure I have a power on turn 2. To clear debuffs. And currently I only have two forwards and a well because we're never using reform early. So maybe a, a, a third power is pretty useful for turn two. Or a fourth power for turn two. My poison's a little low. This is where we just reform prematurely here. Especially if we don't find well plans here. And then our, then our MO becomes... Our MO becomes... Well, with Blur, we actually can do some decent stuff here. Our MO becomes... Uh, get Crippling Cloud ASAP and then stack Corpus Explosion. So we just need to find three turns to find Corpus Explosion and we win the fight. And Corpus Explosion Callus. So I think that actually... I don't mind doing Ray from here, actually. Because then all I gotta do is find... Uh, have two turns after this one to find burst crippling find 
Catalyst and Corp Explosion, we have Secret Technique to manage that, so there should be should be pretty viable in order to find Catalyst, Corpse, and Crippling. Uh, if I do Blur Blur, if I do Leg Sweep Weak and Blur, I don't have Rayform to depend on next turn. And that's pretty sad. We got this, Flavors. If he's weak at next turn, then at least I don't take that much damage, but... Rafe does save me a lot of life next turn, potentially. But I do get rid of two artifacts here. I think we do Rafe, we just have to find... our poison. We have two turns to find it. Do you ever block pop to save his life? Hmm, Tools of Trade is probably pretty useful. Never block for 5 life here. I think we need card draw ASAP. More than anything. So I'm thinking acrobatics. Jesus Christ. This guy's probably attacking for a lot, right? I just is this just this this guy's buffing, this guy's attacking right here? This guy's the one attacking. Am I mistaken? I'm pretty sure this just this guy's attacking and this guy's not. Do I do drug shackles out of fear? I wanna hold on to bullet time. I think this guy's not attacking. He just did his multi attack. Pretty sure this guy's doing some kind of buff. I wish I had intentions, but I'm pretty sure this guy. Didn't, I'm pretty sure this, this is the turn this guy's attacking. I don't think this guy's attacking right now. Am I wrong? I think I'm right. In which case. I do want to do burst crippling, but I think it's better to do burst defend so I don't have to waste block pot. So burst crippling gets more poison to kill this guy next turn with uh, potentially. I want to do corpse catalyst and burst next turn. Hopefully, we also have piercing wells and out. But this turn, this guy's doing like fifty something. Crippling card already weakens him. If I do burst defending direct shackles, I at least save more life. And then I'll have to do block pot here. This is all under the uh, assumption this guy's not attacking this turn, which I'm pretty sure he isn't. If he is, you obviously want to do direct shackles here. Uh, so I'm just hoping that I'm not wrong. I'm pretty sure the left guy is attacking this turn. He attacked for 21 and third on the... Oh, 57 on the... Oh, so this is... Oh. Wait, did he do big attack last turn? Did, I'm pretty sure he does 57 now. I'm pretty sure this is the big attack now. I'm pretty sure this is the big attack now. I, I could be wrong, guys. I could have thrown right here. I'm gonna, I, th I think this guy's not attacking. He just did the big attack. Are you sure? Like he just got 99 block. He just got 99 block. He didn't have 99 block last turn. Last turn he had no block. Last turn he had no 9. He had, did not have 99 block last turn. So he just did it. Okay. So then what's what's he doing now? Is he doing a small like 30 something? You, 
the 59 attack gives him the 59 block. This guy let right is not attacking, right? Open draw to burst. Dude, I need draw pot so bad. I don't have dark shackles. I don't have piercing well either. Damn. That's probably just game over then. We don't get piercing well or we didn't get piercing well or burst. That's pretty bad. Uh, we, don't have, we don't have draw here. My, my The cards I need to win the fight are right here. So I just gotta survive this fight. Actually, I guess I could have held burst. I thought. That burst for Crypt Guy was worth it there. This is 12 damage. This is 20. This is 15. 12. 32. 47. How much is this? Give me 60 plus 12, 72, 72 plus 15. It's exact lethal. It's exact lethal on that guy. Then I waste Catalyst, which I want for that guy next turn to kill. So I could just save Catalyst and do Fire Pot Cunning, which is going to be 15, 20. 37. Not nearly enough. Not nearly enough. Callus is. I guess this guy could just die from straight up poison. So I, I can necessarily not have to Callus him. Like burst corpse explosion and stuff. So what does he do after that? This is the big attack again, probably. Plus, removing the negative one strength is not as important. Wait, it, does it remove negative one strength? I'm not sure if it does. If it, even if it does, I don't think it's that important. Ah, uh, I don't want to waste catalyst. Yeah, I think I have to. Pretty would have been so clutch this turn. Corpus version as well. A little unlucky. Committed then. Wait, what if I don't do Kalis? Wait, what if I don't do Kalis? 20. 
Do we care about Shikani Pot for this, like, for the next fight? Or do we care about Fire Pot more? Which, what, what's more important? I feel like Kani Pot is probably, Kani Pot is an attack so that can help with pellets and the heart fight. Fire Pot is more damage if I'm not weakened. Which I'm not going to be, so Kani Pot is a little bit more damage, but it also has an attack for pellets. I, is the attack for pellets ever relevant? So I think maybe Fire Pot is better because, sure the beat of death of Kani Pot is kind of annoying, but maybe the attack of pellets is more relevant. Another guy that's really important here. So I got poison. We got an early ray form. We got burst blur. Wait for me to want to play now, but maybe I want to take the damage to play footwork first and then do burst blur, burst defend, which how much energy do I have here that I could utilize? Getting burst leg sweep is pretty good. I get weakened for the whole thing. So I want to do burst leg sweep, burst blur. That's four energy. So maybe I just take four damage to the face. Because I, I think. I think I, I really want to get the weakened for both attacks. And even though I have a lot of weakened in the deck, I do have a lot of weakened in the deck. But in the worst case scenario that I don't get weakened, I like having weakened for all f the both attacks. And getting both blurs seems pot potentially relevant next turn. This could be a block putt now, so I, I can take no, no damage. To the, so block putt now basically says I don't want to take four damage to the face, and the block putts are going to be relevant anyways because I'm gonna take damage the next two turns. So I could do block putt too. I don't take face damage. Probably not a bad time to do block putt. That just saves me four damage to the face. And by the time I'm, by the time I'm set up, I'm probably not gonna need block putt as much because by the time I'm set up, I have footwork and I have uh, just a lot of a lot of weak and a lot of block once I'm set up. So you can say Blackpot when you're guaranteed going to die, but we're guaranteed going to take damage next turn. The problem with Blackpot now is that I don't know what I'm going to draw into. I might not even need to do Blackpot next turn because if I draw Piercing Will, again, Piercing Will is not as good because I don't know if he's multi-attacking or not. I feel fine about it. So I'm not going well anyways, but I can get rid of the Frail and that's pretty important. So drawing a power would be fantastic here. We drew a footwork, so now we just play attack and a skill and we, we're, we're fine. Uh, I would like to find Wally Plants. Not being frail is fantastic. I wonder what Sigatinic wants to hit here. I, I definitely want to find Wally Plants. Corp Explosion gets rid of artifacts, but okay, we need Wally Plants, that's the number one thing. So, uh, fuck. I'm a little worried about Dagger Throw, I think I'll do Dagger first. Didn't find the. I wonder if we do secret unique for backflip here, because at some point I have wally plans and cycle through my deck. I think backflip might be worth it. Now there's a world where he's doing multi hit. I don't know if that's the case. If he's doing multi hit, I would like to do piercing well, but I don't know. The fact that my frail is quite big, I think backflip is important here. The wally plans is so huge. Uh, I think I like Blur better, but getting Noxious Tombs out is actually starts getting the poison. That's my win condition. Doing Blur just preserves my life. Getting Noxious Tombs out means I don't have to worry about artifacts as much, but it also gets poison going just a little bit. A very small amount because it's not upgraded. I wonder if that small amount is relevant because once we get, we want to just make sure we have huge Catalyst. And we want the Catalyst to be super big.
But this is not that relevant. Get one poison. It's. I mean, it adds something. And that's not. Yeah, it's not relevant. It's not a vision pool. Yeah, it knocks a few uh, the charges, which is. Lure is interesting, but I think I'll do this here. This is the big hit, so I know we're looking at um. Wow. So we're looking like 47 damage here. No, less. We're actually looking at um. Like 33 or something. So it's pretty blockable. Do we just do one callus now and save the second one? Or do we just get the poison going now? If we do snake oil now though. What are we looking for? All the plants primarily. Well, the plans probably means I want to hold on to Calus Plus so that I can get burst with it, but I wonder if it's even worse, worth it. So maybe this is a good time to do Calus now, though, just because we do have... So that means Leg Sheep and Survivor are going to be really expensive later on in the fight, so is it Defend? That's kind of unfortunate. So the, pro the problem is that these are going to be really expensive f further on, but we do have both time to offset that. This is a good poison right now. That's 14. So this, I'm glad. Now I'm up, now I'm glad I upgraded crippling. So we don't need burst. I think we just do bullet time for this. We like burst, but I think this is just okay. 14, 28 plus. Uh, let's do it again. 14, 16, 32, 32. Seems really good. Uh, so I don't need to block for the, this much. So now we have Rayform in the deck. We got decent poison going on. We'll probably hold on to Piercing Whale. So, so the, I don't know if he's doing big attack or multi attack. So what I'll do is I'll do Dark Shackles and hope for the best. Another footwork. Multi-attack with no damage. If it's not multi-attack, we take damage. At least has information if it's not multi-attack. Alright, we want to take 4 damage anyways. Now, we don't want to do Wraith Form here because this is multi-attack, so let's see what we draw first. And it's only doing, I believe, like 60 damage. This is 60 damage turn. Oh, maybe actually only, only doing 45 because he's weakened. I would lose too much damage waiting for bursts. Way too much damage waiting for bursts. That was a perfectly fine Kellist. I think it's only doing uh, 45 here, right? I don't, I don't, I don't have no reason to do Wraith now. So he's only doing 45, that's blockable. And now we can do Burst Blur when the game's over. We do burst blur games over. Hold on to piercing well is not bad. Uh, uh, piercing well next turn is quite strong. We'll probably just wait for next turn, so we do this. So 
Pretty much we can salvage pretty nice. Uh, so despite running zone, we didn't take like five hours. That's not bad. Despite running zone, we did not take five hours. Who beans?